So I'm Erica Van Reenen from Ag First. I was a co-author in the Economic Evaluation of Stockwater Articulation and Hill Country Report. It's really important that we've got levy investment into reports like this that um, support farmers with tackling some of these big challenges, um, realising the benefits of systems like these, um, but also understanding some of the risks and opportunities such as the environmental aspects. So having that levy power investment just means it's really accessible. Um, it's not just about the report, but actually getting it out there and sharing that information widely with farmers. In forming um, beef, beef program, I'm looking forward to seeing it progress. Um, one of the benefits of the program is going to be the improved breeding values or, or Pacific to New Zealand, and I think that's a that's a big thing. Having uh, more accurate information, commercial farmers can can relate to it a, a lot easier. Um, is is the hope and the intention. Currently, what I'm looking for is is to keep a, a moderate um, moderate cow size for my genetics. Um, sort of, yeah, we, we we need easy calving. But, and also moderate growth, um, but also um, IMF is one thing we've been following a little bit, and, and some posit and positive fats. Just want a good, easy doing animal, really. I think the program going forward is, is actually just gonna change how we can select things, or improve, improve that information. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, we're in the Wanganui area and um, yeah, we definitely have seasonal challenges. Facial eczema is um, quite a big problem on our place. Uh, the local vet club does quite well with giving us spore counts uh, weekly. That information we work out um, a plan of attack, whether it be using bullets or spraying paddocks out. I've noticed a little bit that beef and lamb's doing a fair bit um, in this area, which is real, real good for us. Um, you know, it's a massive issue. Um, yeah, so yeah, the more we can get out of it, the better. I did the Generation Next program in fielding mid-2022. I'm a shepherd at the moment and I've gone back on the family farm and hoping to take it over one day so I thought it would be really good to go through it and um, yeah it was going to help me to progress in my career. Learned lots about the financial side of things and um, yeah, so much of that I've even gone home and just like the practical side of things for um, stock, set stocking and rotations that I can now apply on the farm. I've been involved in the programme for the last uh, 10 or so years, um, facilitating programmes across the top of the South and Lower North Island and I guess one of the things that, that I see from an extension program is its consistency, um, not, not only in terms of the ability to continue to bring new things um, to farmers through these field days, but also in terms of the number of farmers that continue to come to these events, and, and that really just highlights the, the value that they're getting out of attending, the information updates, um, the stimulation that they get from the, uh, the ideas that are presented, um, and obviously they go away and think about it and how it applies to their own, uh, own operations. The program um, provides an opportunity for farmers to socialise, and uh, I guess given um, you know recent events and um, you know the, the challenges that farmers have faced over the years and will continue to face going forward, um, those opportunities uh, that are created by the uh, steering committees um, are a great vehicle for farmers to come together, get off, um, chew the fat, and just um, you know talk about uh, what's going on on their farms, uh, their lives. Um, and share their experiences. Um, it's great. There's always something to pick up either on farm or um, with your speakers and your different presenters. There's always something to get. And um, I think, well, I've come from Dannyburg, so we've just been hammered in a pretty good storm. So it's five days of working pretty hard and um, nice to get off farm and to see how others are doing it. Bevan's obviously had a hammering here and storms of the past and um, it's just nice to see how he's recovered. Yeah, I come out from the Hawks Bay to get away from the mud too and have just a reset day. Get out on a, a 
farm and just enjoy people's company. Yeah, we were all up and running again in our business, so it was time to go and have a break and have a, have a nice day out on a farm and see what New Zealand farmers are up to.